Our story begins in the vast and diverse land of Australia, where a legendary creature was born. The Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo, an icon of power and performance. In the early 2000s, a new chapter in Australian automotive history was written. The Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo emerged from the depths of Ford's engineering prowess, captivating enthusiasts with its fierce presence. This magnificent beast roared to life with a heart fueled by a potent turbocharged inline six engine, producing a symphony of raw power and an acceleration that would rival even the fastest predators of the outback. With each evolution, the XR6 Turbo grew stronger, its aerodynamic body cutting through the wind like an apex predator chasing its prey. True to its nature, the XR6 Turbo exhibited its versatility, conquering the open roads and dominating the drag strips around Australia. As time passed, this regal creature faced challenges, balancing the demands for efficiency and power, all while adapting to a rapidly evolving automotive landscape. Today, the Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo holds a special place in the hearts of enthusiasts, a testimony to Australia's passion for performance and engineering excellence. From its humble beginnings to becoming a roaring legend, the Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo will forever be etched in the annals of Australian automotive history. And now for another exciting episode of Boxer's Adventures in Engine Land, starring the ever so famous now, that guy with the sticky tape. I was having lunch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cameras turn around now. All right, so, yep, let's do some engine stuff. We're talking more about, hey, that's very close. We're talking barras again, because this is a barra video, and um, this is the barra dome. He's just tucking his shirt in like he wants to look pretty and stuff. I realise how fat I look on the other video, so I'm trying to suck my gut in. You so can put a couple of rows of tape around. <laughs> Mate, you should see this guy. He's actually quite fit. He can lift a barrel block above his head. All right, so we're here in the room. We've got, there's two random engines there, but um, a barrel here, which we'll get to in a bit. But here he is, the, the barrel professor Hello, uh, that I've called him. Yep. <laughs> I'm making you uncomfortable, am I? <laughs> no, you're not smacking me uncomfortable. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> I shined them up for you this morning, mate. He's got his, they were, his, they were got looking, his wedding crocs on today. They were looking all filth. So Why are the porting crocs or the green ones? I know, these ones suffice, No, you had green mate. crocs last time, didn't you? No, white. White only, mate. <laughs> the Louis Vuitton crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we got here? We've got... A whole stack of stuff. There's some billet stuff over here. We're going to start here. Yeah, and so what just, I want just to, to fill do, everyone in, though. Mark yeah. made me empty the room out, so we've just got Barra in here, all right? Even kicked so, Shane out. Yeah. That's right. So everything got kicked out the front there. And um, we've put some Barras in the room, basically from ascending order, um, block-wise, and a couple different block variations with the aftermarket stuff, um, just so we can go through it all and, and, and show you guys at home what all the variances and what all the differences are and... Um, I'm sure there's things that we'll miss today or, or, or points that we won't make, but you know, hit us up in the comments and we'll, we'll try and answer what we can. So, starting here, this is the BA, or, well, oh, you, you talk, man. you tell me, yeah. No, so we've got, we got a first, first gen OG, so we've got a BA block. Um, As commonly seen with Conrad hanging out the side. Correct, it's got no holes in the side, which is, which is a rarity. Um, actually a hard block to come by, I, I tried to buy a couple for some customers and um, Yes, they were, they were quite difficult to find half decent good ones. Um, casting number on this block here is a, is a, a 3R23. Um, and then as all you guys would already know out there, you've got the 1R rods that come out in these, which are the, which are the skinny boys. 
all the early BAs come out with it and, and the NA rod and the turbo rod is the same rod. The only optional difference between the turbo rod and the NA rod is the bushing because um, one's, one's a floating pin and one's not. But the thickness of the beam, the thickness of the shoulder of the beam and all that, they're all exactly the same. Most people will tell you these things. Um, you sort of go to around your 300, 330 kilowatt and they're happy. Uh, you start trying to push them to 350 and then it's legs out. So Now this one's come in for a bit of work. Um, it has had gas rings or whatever you call put in it? Yeah, yeah, so, so this has already had um, hoop rings in it. It's, um, it's been um, uh, tapped on the top of the block for a 14 mil head stud. It's got some grout in it as well. Um, we're gonna give it a facelift and, um, and sort of bring it into the 21st century. And um, I guess uh, one thing that most people don't know about these. Uh, the, the big thing with the different barrel blocks though is where the dipstick sits because of the sump. Yeah, that, that's probably the most notable thing um, is the dipstick. So obviously here, you've only got the one provision for the dipstick at the front. At the back section here where you'd normally sit on an FG block or a uh, territory block, there's actually no provision there at all. So if you were to use this in an FG, which, we're, which we've done on a couple of occasions, we've had to put a external pick up in there which we've drilled down and threw into the sump and it's, it becomes a bit of a retrofit which is, it, it works but it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, also the other difference is you'll notice is, is the, the cut out on the rear here where the bell housing is and that, that's where the, um, where the starter motor sits. So. so that's a 3R block, BA, BABF? Yeah, so this, this, is, this is BA first gen BF um, with your 3R block. Yep. And then, and then they move on. Then you move up to your next block. This is an 8R23, which is, which is known as, a, as an FG block. Um, notable difference here is though, that this has a dual dipstick. So it's got dipstick front and back. It has provisions to knock the plug out. So you can swap the dipstick from either end front to back. Um, this still isn't the latest Barra block because the latest one actually completely eliminates the front and only has the rear. Um, and that's still called an 8R23 block. So um, this one is a, a drag spec build. So it's, a, it's an aluminium rod, uh, solid grout, four inch stroke still. So it's still a four liter? Still a four liter, yeah. Yep. yep. And what sort of power is this you're hoping to? Oh, this, this has been built for around the 1800 horsepower mark. Um, so yeah, it should do that pretty comfortably. Nice. Nice, and then some engine here. No, yeah, yeah. So this is this is I think what Mark's actually come for today to um, to have a good look at his at his motor. We've been we've been trying to get a, a video to like an update video of of the engine um, for a while now. But look, we we will come and build this engine together. That's the plan. Yeah. But so we want to do it meticulously. We didn't have a lot of time on our on our plate today, so we we're like, let's come and do a cool video and an update on what's going on here. But I want to do like a nice classy video of this thing going together. I don't know if it's going to be classy with us in it, but yeah. Well, we just, we need to put a whole day aside so we can mm. just spend some time on it. We'll lay out all the parts and we'll do a real nice build video because um, I haven't posted a build video before. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't put one up online mm. and I'm sure everyone will learn a bit from it as well. Mm. There's, there's a number of them already out there, but there's just be something a little bit different with the combo that we've got here. So yeah. But yeah, so Mark's got, he's got our, our, um, and when he says Mark, that's me. That's, yeah, Boxer, yeah, sorry. He's, yeah. he's got our, our mono um, bed cap. That's all machined out and done. Blocks being grouted. You can probably come around to the front and show them some photos of that, but blocks grouted. Um, we've cut it out for rings as well. He's going with the aftermarket crank rods and pistons in his combo as well. And this is the, the PPM four liter billet crank. Yep, correct. Yep, yep. And this is sleeved as well. It is correct. Yep. Yeah, so we, this one's sleeved and grouted. Um, we basically wanted to make a pretty solid little race combo that we only need to sort of pull down to change bearings and rings as it sort of wears itself out. So, And the other thing is though, is that um, it's not fully grouted, is it? It's only still gonna run water through the top of the block? Yeah, yeah, so we, mm. we've still got, we've still got um, 30 mil off the top of the bore that, um, that runs water around the top section of the block. So it just pulls the heat out of the rings. Um, I don't know. What Mark's grand plans are for this, because we've, we've 
changed a few times, but if he wants to do a couple of the, the drag and drive events, um, I think the engine's more than capable of that. So that's what we're trying to build for him. Yeah, yeah. so now we've got Mark Sill on the head. Uh, that's all been machined up as well. It, it's due for a final clean um, before assembly. Yeah, so the head's been dry decked. It's got one of our port jobs in it. Uh, we've put some um, new seats in it as well. It's got a new set of guides. Everything's been squared up. And when you mean dry deck, I mean, I know what it means. Oh, so dry deck is, is no water flowing through the cylinder head. Uh, the whole idea of that is well, if the head... The, through the... the um... Yeah, through the cylinder head as far as the block face. Yep. Uh, and the whole idea of that is, is just if we do lift the head, um, you may push a little bit of oil, but you're not going to push water out and, um, and spray the tyres and, and make a mess of the track and the car and everything else that goes with it. So... It also offers better cooling capacity as across the cylinder head because we're getting the water to flow the way we want it to flow. Yep, and so, that's obviously there where the water's coming out the back. Yeah, water comes out the back, and it just you, you basically got a, a, a laminar flow from front to back, and we we get much better cooling with cylinder head and more consistent cylinder temps as well. All the componentry on the cylinder head's new. Um, valves, custom one of our custom spring sets that allows for high lift, and. Um, yeah, a set, a set of rockers to top it all off. We mentioned these previously. These are the PPM billet roller rockers. Correct. Not pressed yeah. or anything yep. like that, not cast. Correct. And we will be staying hydraulic on the cylinder head. So. Um, yep. Yeah. And we're also re returning more, VCT as well, aren't we? We are. And that's mm. that's um, two reasons. So one, one is maintenance. It brings down the maintenance intervals of the engine. And two, it helps us out with as far as the tune and the mid-range torque of the motor as well. So Nice. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if people can actually tell that we don't script these videos. I'm sure they can. I'm sure they can. <laughs> so, all right, so um, that is a bullet block over there. Let's have a quick look at that first, because that one's a sort of assembled one. Yeah, so that's that's an assembled one. It's obviously red. It's looking pretty spiffy. I won't uncover it all, because we don't want to get it all, all filthy, but we've got to put some hard lines on it, finish off the dialing in the cams, and then... Um, this one sort of by, by sort of mid to late next week. By mid to late next week is is, is ready to go out of here. It's, uh, cylinder head wise, it's a similar spec to yours, Mark. So it's um it's the same port. It's the O-ringed exhaust port. Same valve, same spring um, combo as well. Which which that spring will maintain 50 pounds of boost. Um, yep. And you can go yeah about 575, 580 um, lift on the cam as well. Uh, with that spring combo, we've got another one that goes 620. Um, yeah, that's that's it really, cylinder head wise. A little while ago I did that Billet Barra video which got a massive amount of views. I went in to catch up with Darren at Bullet to have a look. So that market's going a bit crazy at the moment. You've built a few of them now already, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And so, the, well, we, we sort of tried to run through um, what all the factory block variants were, and, and these are just two aftermarket ones. Um, I think uh, PPM and Bullet are the only two doing an aftermarket uh, bill of block that's available. Um, at the... Crest did do one, but is that that was never really on the market. Well, that's all I'm saying that's available, because at the mm. moment, this, the PPM one's still not yet. It's still in testing phase, yep. um, but that will be, I believe, I believe early next year, the block's going to be available to the public and um, and the bullet one's already out. The Ooh. Crest one, I've seen two of them. Um, I've spoken to the people that own them and there's some information there behind them, but I haven't seen anything get released as a, as a, as a mainstream release for that block. Well, so Let's have a look at these two and sort of have a look at the main differences. Because we're not here to say which one's better or worse. So it would, no, they're, they're, it's, they're, they're very different, aren't they? They are, they're very different blocks. And there's two, even though they look the same, they're both the same color, they're both shiny. Um, there's some key aspects that are different on both blocks. Just point to note though, both blocks externally will take all your factory mounts. Um, they'll take your factory hardware as well. If you were to put it, um, air conditioning or power steering or that, both of them have got provisions for all, all those items externally. Um, the bell housing flanges on both blocks are exactly the same. They'll take exactly the same provisions as any of the, as any of the factory barrow blocks. When you come to the front of the block, they're slightly different. The bullet block here has an insert which sits in here. And this is a this is a dry deck um, wet block, so it has, still has water flowing through it. Um, and this is also a, a dry deck wet block as well. So this still has water flowing through it too. Um, they'll both take a factory water pump if, if you were to go that way on them. Um, this one will not take a factory oil pump. Uh, where this one will. So this still has provision and the oil galleries are in the right spot to take a factory oil pump, which you'll see by the main oil gallery here. 
and you'll see on this block that there's no main oil gallery here. The main oil gallery is actually missing. Uh, you can't drill that either because the oil gallery is shifted in a different position there. So, so this one's predominantly a dry sump. Engine. This is dry yep. sump, yeah. So, yep. so if you're going to go down this track, 100% um, you're going uh, dry sump set up. The block that we've got over here is wet sump, but it's wet sump is going to have to run a single stage dry sump on it. So yep. if you pan around to this side, you can see the fitting on the, on the pan. Oh, yep. And that's a big capacity pan too, isn't that's it? That's a great, yeah. actually a really nice sump on these. Um, mm. the, the boys at Bullet have done a great job with the sumps. I've had a good look inside it and we make our own as well for the factory blocks. Um, that's a nice unit, so. Yeah, so they're both, they both run a similar sleeve. The sleeve wall thickness and section thickness is similar on both blocks. Both blocks, the billet material left on the outside section of the sleeve, the wall thickness is, is again very similar. Um, the main difference on both these blocks is, is what one runs what we call a bed plate, which is similar to the mono girdle that we put on Mark's motor, which is also a bed plate. Uh, the PPM block though runs a, 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 um, a billet um, cap, which are their individual caps, and they're a six bolt into the block. But when you say billet, they're steel billet. They're yeah. still billet, yeah, correct. Yeah. And, and so this, this is what we call a Y pattern block because the block comes up and wraps around the cap where, where this one here, the, blocks, the block actual block height is shorter. So there's less billet material in this because it's been split into two pieces. Mm. So two different sort of processes. Two mm. very different designs in, 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 in the bottom structure of the block. Mm. The top structure of the block is, is almost identical on both. It's just, it really is the bottom structure of the block that's different. And I dig the fact that on these, it does retain the standard bolts on the sides. Cause like if I was to put one of these in my car, it'd pretty much bolt straight in where the old ones come out. Pretty much. Both of them will take, will take most of your accessories and they'll go straight in. Um, just this one, you have to run a, a an external oil um, oiling system with. This one you don't. So. It will suit some, it will suit others. This has got a whole heap of testing to do. We're actually going to test this with one of my billet pumps on it um, and, and see how capable that whole system is with now a block that can support. Because we've had quite a few of these blocks that we've pushed to the point where we've had them solid grout and we've split the side of the block. And it hasn't been, it hasn't been oiling that's been an issue and failed the engine. It's actually been the block materials just given up at that power threshold. So like I said, we'll, We've got a, a, a new pump that we're going to try on this. And um, yeah, if we, if we can keep it all compact in the snout, um, all nice and neat, it just leaves us more room on the sides to run our fuel systems and, and, and the other auxiliaries that we need to run. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Well, yeah. so anyway, um, yeah, thanks. Oh, I can see myself. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. Is that a better angle or what? That one? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. much better. You just can put the fisheye lens on there, I think. Hmm. So yeah, so when are we going to build mine? <laughs> when you when you get your ass into gear and you come down, it's it's but it's all there. We've just got to paint the block. I've got a drill. What color are we painting it? Pink. Any color you want. Yeah. No, orange probably suit so your yeah, suit so your yeah, interior. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think black. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a fan of orange. No. no. All right. All right. So um, yeah, there you go. That's a kind of a unscripted, unplanned thrash around the engine room, looking at some different barrel blocks. Uh, I will be back pretty soon. Um, technically not ready for the engine anyway, that's why I've been pressuring him, so I think he likes me for that. You know, no, never pressure your engine builder, because ah, then you're a yeah. um, But yeah, so I'll be back in Adelaide next week and doing some more prep work. The transmission should be going together pretty soon, so by the time we're ready to put this together, then it should be getting close to going in the car, so getting excited. Mm. Yeah, we're getting close, mm. um, and it'd be nice to get my bench space back, so let's sort this out, eh? Sorry. Yeah. Alright, bye. <laughs> I can love these outtakes. Easy, Tiger. Last time we were here, this guy was all like Captain Sad Pants because he wasn't feeling well. I was sick. Yeah. Actually, still am sick. We're fully sick. Yeah. Fully sick. That sounds amazing through this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Once that's done, we can we can do an assembly video. I won't put your head together. We'll, we'll film that as well. You can. I've already got my head together. Uh, somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. Hello.
Is this working? Yep. Yours is working still? I think so. Can Check you hear one me? Two. Yep. One, two. One, yeah, two. sorry. Um, one, two. Working, one, two. Mama bear to papa bear. Reading? Never dull moment. I don't get over to Melbourne enough. Like, I miss this guy. Yeah. That's right. That's what, me. Like, that's what happens, mate. You just, you gotta get out. You gotta yeah. smell the fumes. The fumes. Yeah.